That militant life, that militant life is a beautiful life. You're always free from boredom, desire, and vice. Everything that sets in when you operate at a low frequency in the penitentiary, particularly the shoe, where you have to live a militant, structured life every day to even survive mentally. At that point, you're just in a cell by yourself, keeping your mind right, keeping your mind structured. Those negative thoughts within you guys are destroying you because you don't understand that one, two, three, when you're running through those burpees, when you're running through that workout, when you're running through those reps, when you're earning that love for self, when you're earning that gratitude for life, that's where the freedom occurs. You don't get it. You don't get it. The only thing that eliminates suffering is more suffering. The only thing that cures pain is greater pain. You have to run straight into it. And everybody out here got so fucking comfortable because of their expectations. Your expectations are killing you. You have high expectations and a low work ethic, motherfucker. That keeps you completely unfulfilled. In the penitentiary, I built an unbreakable mindset with two things. Low expectations and a fucking unbreakable work ethic. An unfathomable work ethic. This made me completely fulfilled because one outweighed the other. Out here, everybody thinks they deserve something they're not fucking working for. So it's utter unfulfillment across the board. What you guys don't get, I didn't come on here to make fucking millions. I came on here to show what worked for me. I stepped out of the penitentiary four and a half years ago. I started, started posting on Instagram because I was finding out a fucking wreck. I was finding out a fucking problem anymore. And all I could do was be proud of that. That's where it all starts. That's where everything starts. You being proud of your conduct and character. You guys are being driven by the wrong fucking outcome, the wrong expectations and the wrong result. The real result is that you woke up this morning with pain in your chest and you decided to go extinguish that with more pain, the pain that builds you, the sacrifice that gets results, the sacrifice that leads to success because sacrifice is paradise. And people don't understand this perpetual pleasure chase will eat them alive. It's going to eat you alive, motherfucker. I had to bury the old me. The old me was a pleasure chasing bitch of a man. Always thinking he wanted to kick his fucking feet up. That's where all the problems come in. Comes in quick. Boredom. Ugh, you're looking around for something to do. Leads right to desires that are never going to be met right now. Then you just go chasing those vices. Because you're an instant gratification seeking motherfucker. Once you understand that being responsible to your internal state is everything, you'll feel this start to take place inside of you. Then you have two choices. Run down that path of self-sabotage or run straight to that self-investment that is a true depiction of self-love. If you fucking don't believe in self-love, self-investment, building yourself and a positive mental attitude, you're so fucked. There's so many cynical fucks out here who really believe that shit's pixie dust. That's just our motherfucker. You can tell someone in a low frequency state. You can see them. You can feel them. Everything around them sucks. Nothing is proper. And then when they're in a different fucking mindset, you can see that everything shifted. What was that? That was a gateway built by frequency. Your frequency is what you frequently see. And if you know how to heighten yours, you'll stay impervious to defeat in every fucking area. How the fuck did we operate at this level in the shoe the whole fucking time? How the fuck have I not missed out here the whole time? How? Because holding my word, the pride attached to that, is the first foothold of a higher frequency. Damn, I'm up again, motherfucker. What? You can't stop me. That's my choice. And then right into another high frequency emotional state. Love. Self-love. Working on my life. Thinking about others. What I'm preparing for them. And then we automatically elevate up to a stage of enlightenment where true internal peace is gained. <laughs> you think you're showing up to the workout for some muscles to get. You're going to the workout to get, to get, to get. I'm going to the workout to get rid of, motherfucker, because clarity is power. The second I have that clarity, my thoughts and desires and everything negative is gone so I can really operate at my highest level. Do you understand this? Everyone's going at everything backwards. Success is subtractive. You have to get rid of all that negativity inside you to live a great life. And it's going to be every day. As Aurelius said, straight, not straightened. You'll never just be free from negativity. 
One energy exchanges to the other. It's there. You're never going to be free from it. Trying to unmake negativity would unmake positivity because everything exists simply by contrast. So you have to use that negativity to build. The true alchemist turns the world into words. You're turning the world into words. You know that this painful event is the fucking catapult that's going to send you right into your next level of success. Sat in the fucking shoe for 14 months and had better days arguably in there than out here with a bunch of stresses that you guys fucking automatically think we have to fall victim to. And I have too, because I'm bouncing in between this internal state and the tangible world. I have to go back and forth. In the shoe, it was just the internal world structuring my internal state. There was nothing else. So it was arguably easier once I understood this route. Anything else was victimization, because you're not gonna have it. Anytime you drifted towards what you don't have and desires unmet in the penitentiary, it was victimization. And that's what you guys do out here. You have to do everything you can with what you got, where the fuck you're at, where the fuck you're at. I just literally had a flashback this morning of all of us in the cages. It was me, little Chris, Bobby, and it was little James. It was uh, Casper from EMF. It was Guilty from EMF. It was Boo Boo from Compton. It was two Ds from uh, Bakersfield. There was a couple others, but we're in the cages. We have fucking nothing. This is one hour in some dog kennel cages of massacring burpees. We always left empowered because what do we do? We got rid of those disempowering beliefs. We got rid of that negativity. We shed it. We shed all our suffering by engaging in more suffering. That's the only thing that would heal us. That's all we had. You guys run to everything else because it's an option. Don't give yourself the option. Call that shit bitch made because it is. You know that your conscience is calling you for more. I'll be here till the day they slam that motherfucking door on me and it's done, okay? You see that? How many of you guys can tell your people that, that I'll never stop and they'll fucking believe you? That's the problem out here. Everyone believes Wes will show up tomorrow. Do they believe you, motherfucker? Let's go!